Do 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 <laughs> Yo, what up everybody? It is your boy, the one, the only Fix What TV here, aka G Lauren 33. And if you guys couldn't tell from my excitement, Fitzmoke TV is officially back. It has been over a month, over a month since I last uploaded, alright? And you guys have been asking me, for people that don't follow me on Twitter, people have been asking me on social media, what happened to Fitzmoke TV? It's been, this has been probably the most crazy month of YouTube in my life, alright? As you guys saw from by the, t the title itself, I was hacked, got my channel back, then terminated. It was a whole crazy situation. Definitely one of the most crazy times of my life. Alright? And there was a couple points where I thought, I sat here and I thought, I might not be back on YouTube for a while. And when I mean a while, I mean permanently. Alright? I was the uh, I'm not gonna sit here and lie, you guys. I was depressed. <laughs> I was depressed over the last month. All right, a lot happened. A lot happened, and I'm gonna explain to you guys what happened at the end of this video. I'm gonna have like a mini slideshow. All right, hopefully if I remember, yes, I'm, I'm gonna put like a mini slideshow so you guys can see. Um, cause this is a story. This is a a story. All right, if you guys remember earlier in the year, around April, I didn't post for close to two months. Because um, I was in copyright trouble with Soatia. It was around the time the Dragon Ball Super Brogan movie came out. But um, I was able to figure that all out. I wasn't. It wasn't my fault. It was just misidentified content because everyone was posting Dragon Ball Super Broly videos, and a lot of them had copyrighted content. Luckily, most of mine didn't. But we were able to fix that. But this was nothing compared to what I went through over the last. Alright, I'm going to explain the whole thing to you guys here. So sit back, relax, let's get into the story. So, where does this start? I'm going to say November, okay, November 3rd, November 3rd, I went to Comic Con, not Comic Con, I went to Ringside Fest, and we met Sasha Mix. We almost met Becky Lynch, but I didn't feel like paying, um, and an extra money to meet Becky, even though you guys know I want to meet Becky, I'm a Becky Lynch fan, even though, you know, um, I find her a little bit overrated in terms of today's WWE product, and I'm not going to talk about WWE, because for my WWE fans on the channel, man, you guys haven't heard me talk or rant about WWE in over a month, so definitely when we have the SmackDown and the Raw reviews coming up, definitely, you know, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on everything, but, uh, specifically, November 3rd, after we met Sasha Mink, I got an email. I got an email, and at first I thought it was from YouTube, alright? Uh, but it was sent to one of my backup emails, not my general YouTube email. The, the first thing I should have thought when I saw that is this is probably spam. But the email said, and you guys will see all these photos at the end of the video. The, the email said, um, we are contacting you because we found a lot of spam in your videos uh, uh, and your uh, channel will be terminated within 24 hours if you don't so me I accidentally clicked on the link alright and the link went straight to my YouTube channel and then afterwards I sent the screenshots over to team YouTube on Twitter and then they messaged me back about 30 minutes later saying oh this is spam this is probably from a phishing account you know make sure to delete these emails uh, don't click on the links, etc, etc. So I didn't take it as a big deal because I've never been hacked before. I've never really had any security trouble with my YouTube channel. Um, but stupid me, I forgot to reset my password. Alright, I was driving when Team YouTube texted me and I just did think about it. And then I later on I just did reset my password. I didn't take those extra steps to make sure my account was secured. So the next day, I posted a Monday Night Raw review like I usually do every Monday. And then we finished filming, we finished our, our stream around midnight, and then I went to sleep because I had class in the morning. This is November 4th. So 
November 4th, around 3 a.m., Fitzmunk TV was hijacked. All right. By me clicking on that link, it gave all my login info, all my account details to the hacker. That's why I should if I just had reset my password, if I just had put those extra layer of security on my channel right after that, I would this would have never happened. Because me clicking on that link gave the hacker my my information, everything. So he used that link. Alright, the hacker was able and the thing is I wasn't the only person that got hacked. There was a scandal, there, there was a bunch of YouTube channels that got hacked in the process. I was just one of the victims because I clicked on the link. So what happened after that is, uh, the hacker then went into my brand account, alright? He didn't want anything else from my Google account except for my YouTube channel, alright? So he went to my brand account, he removed me as an owner, because I'm the only owner of Fitzman TV. There's nobody else with access to my account but me. So he removed me as an owner, and then he added himself as the new primary owner of Fitzman TV. So Fitzman TV was the ownership of the channel. All the access to the channel was taken away from me. I had no access to Fitzman TV, and I remember waking up that morning to check, you know, uh, to check uh, how the Monday Night Raw review was doing. I had no access to the channel, and I started flipping out so badly that. You know, I couldn't even focus in class that morning. All right, cause I was just concerned. I texted a bunch of my friends in the the community. I texted like Super Saiyan Science, DBS Hype, um, my friend Monica, who I do Marvel videos for. I texted all a lot of my friends in the, in the community to see if anybody could help me. All right, people gave me like links to Google articles, and I'll say one thing: YouTube support is very, very can be very difficult because you know YouTube there's so many youtubers there's like what 23 million YouTube channels I believe and counting you know there's so many of them and then it was just very difficult for me to get in contact with YouTube support I, I was trying to find an email it took me a, at least an hour to find one all right I was able to get in contact with YouTube partner support um, via one of my other Google, my other Google account, my where you know my personal uh, YouTube account where I watch all my normal videos and all that. So I was able to get in contact with YouTube Partner Support, and they would take forever to get re the response. So then I also contacted Team YouTube on Twitter, and they were slow to respond. But later that same day, they texted me. Um, they asked for my channel. URL which was still up because my main concern is that the channel would have got deleted that was my main concern because some of the other people that got hacked their uh, the problem with their stuff is they uh, their channels got deleted and one thing it's almost impossible to recover a deleted YouTube channel all right so that's what was, that was my main worry about the holding that because you know I only have I have 3.5k subs you know, there's way more, there's bunches of YouTubers that are bigger than I am. So, I was very concerned. Very concerned. But, uh, then days went by, weeks went by, and I didn't really get an answer. I think two weeks after, I had contacted YouTube support. They had emailed me saying they would give me an update on the whole thing. But, you know, days would go by, I would get no response. I would I would check on my channel like four or five times a day because Fitzmunk TV it stayed up, all right. There was no new videos, no nothing, but the channel was still visible to the public. And then after that, what happened is around I was at church one Saturday a couple weeks ago, about maybe a week and a half, two weeks after my channel had been hacked. YouTube Team YouTube on Twitter contacted me via my DMs and they told me we've confirmed that your channel was hijacked. All right, to have your channel transferred back to you, uh, please make a new brand account. So I had to make a new, kind of like a new Fitzmore TV channel in a way. All right, so they could transfer the original Fitzmore TV, this channel, so they could chance they could transfer that channel over to this fake brand account. So then I would have ownership of Fitzmore TV again. All right, I had to wait like at least about another week and a half. All right, so at this point, it had been about three weeks. All right, it was basically a couple days before Thanksgiving. 
So this is basically last week, last Tuesday, I regained ownership of Fitzman TV. But that's only part one of the story. Alright, that's only part one of the story. You know, so I got Fitzman TV back three weeks, about, yeah, about, not, you know, yeah, about three weeks after it was hijacked. Alright. So, Fitzman TV, everything looked okay. You know, yes, the, uh... The person, the only thing he really changed at first was the the, the channel banner. All right, it was like a generic one, but for the most part, Facebook TV looked fine. You know, all the videos were there. Um, most of them were made private. But the thing about it is, uh, I saw something that really caught my eye. It at first it said that the channel name had been changed from Facebook TV to 24/7 News. I was like, what? So what happened is the hacker. All right, tried to change Fitzbug TV into a news channel. Imagine that. Imagine trying to turn Fitzbug TV into a news channel. That's beyond me, coach. That is beyond me. Fitzbug TV will never be a news channel. All right, never. Yes, we do like Dragon Ball news and WWE news here and there, but like this person tried to turn it into an actual news network like Fox and NBC, and I was like, no, no, we like we don't do that. We don't do that here, all right. Um, but what happened after that is I got this from TV back, but the channel was changed, so I had to put my channel banner back in. I had to make all my videos public, which took like an hour because I've been doing this since 2013, and I have a lot of bad videos from the past, like 20 back when I was in freshman high school, eighth grade, like. And I had my voice was high pitched like this, like it was bad. It was bad. So I had to go back and make all those videos public, private, all that. It took an hour. But there was one thing I noticed. There was three. There was four actually. Four copyright strikes on the channel before the channel was hacked. You know, I had no copyright strikes. All my copyright strikes had been either expired or resolved. All that. This person, by trying to make Football TV a news channel, he was taking content from these new shows. Like I think like the Joe Show. I don't know. I don't watch much news these days, unless it's like Channel Five, um, here and there. This person tried to take Football TV, all right, change it to a news channel, and uploaded copyrighted content. Uploaded that onto the channel. All right, and in result, I got four copyrights. So, yeah, so imagine, imagine spending three weeks waiting patiently to get your channel back. Just to, you know, right when you think everything's all fine and all set, you know, you find out, hey, my channel has copyright strikes now. And now it's in danger of being terminated. So then what happens? What happens after this? A couple days go by, right? And I'm trying to contact these claimants. I'm trying to you say, oh, I didn't have access to my channel. Someone else did this. I recontact YouTube partner support, text the team YouTube. The only thing they said really was try to get those claims re uh, retracted. All right. And I can't put counter notifications because I don't own that footage. You know, I'm, I'm trying to explain to everybody like, oh, um, please just let me get ownership of my channel back, man. I, it's not my fault. All this other stuff. And then Thanksgiving happened. Easily one of the worst Thanksgiving I've ever had. All right, it wasn't a fun day. I had to work in the morning, and you know, the, the afternoon, I got an email. Well, he, the well, he thing I did, I made, I did something dumb. I tried to contact Google support, and then I tried to tell them uh, I'm not gonna be able to access my channel in a couple of days because of these copyright strikes that were not my fault. Because of that, YouTube sent me an email like an hour later saying I had violated the terms of service because they saying I was lying on a legal web form. And then Fitzbug TV was terminated. So everyone that was trying to troll saying Soasia took me down, my channel got terminated because of me doing, you know, posting copyrighted videos. No, you guys are just dumb idiots. All right, Fitzbug TV got terminated because. I accidentally violated the YouTube terms of service. Alright. So basically what happened after that is I had to send an appeal. 
Alright, and this is Thanksgiving night. Alright, so I'm already mad. Right, and I don't feel like going to spend time with my family and my friends because I'm just pissed. Because not only is physical TV I can't upload, but now physical TV is terminated. Alright? So what do I do after this? I go to send an appeal. And most, I, there's a bunch of YouTubers that have had their channels terminated and then, you know, they get their channels back. You know, most of them say they got the channel back within 24 to 48 hours. You know, right after I sent an appeal, YouTube legit contacted me five minutes later. They sent me a notice saying, oh, this is why your channel was suspended, blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that, you know. And then I accidentally sent the appeal twice because I want, I was like, I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm going to keep bothering them. And then they contacted me again saying, you cannot send a second appeal. Alright, wait for the other one. Then, the last four days, man, I, I didn't talk to anybody, really. Because people were trolling me. People, you know, I had my phone legit on do not disturb. I legit would just go to class, go to work, and just, you know, chill chill at the crib. That was about it. Alright, but it wasn't until yesterday, December 4th, I got the best news. After I woke up around 7.30, got ready for class got an email from YouTube saying your channel is no longer in violation of the terms of service and you now have access to your channel I, I had to go back you know had to make all my videos private again the bad ones because all my videos were made public and all the copyright strikes were gone so not only did we get our channel unsuspended for violating the terms but all of our copyright strikes are gone all right, I don't know if that's a result of our channel being unsuspended or YouTube saw that it wasn't me who put these copyright strikes on so they just deleted them. I don't know. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. I am just happy that Fitzwin TV is finally back. I, I, I can't be any more excited. All right, I'm just so happy that I'm back doing what I love. You know, I want to thank everybody that supported me through this process. People that gave me advice, you know, like, like I said, DBS hype, two percent signs, my my friend Monica, the rough, so many others that uh, I just not come into my head right now. But if you guys help me in this process of getting this one TV back, this one TV back, thank you guys, thank you guys so much. Your support means the world to me. All right, and I want to thank all the subscribers, like Junior, um, Sleeping Angels, Jr. There was a lot of subscribers that reached out to me on Twitter and Instagram. You know, to ask me what happened to the channel, you know, giving me support. I really appreciate it, guys. I really do. Because it's been a long month. Like I said, it's been nearly five weeks since I was last able to upload a video. Alright? And I have, there was a lot of videos during that time that I wish I could make. You know, reaction videos, breakdown videos, reviews. Like, I didn't get a chance to make a, have a Survivor Series stream. Didn't get a chance to have a Survivor Series review. You know, and... It sucks, but it is what it is. I'm just happy at the end of the day that we were able to get Fitzmore TV back. And that's all that matters. Fitzmore TV is back. It's here to stay. The copyright strikes are gone. No more hackers. You know, my channel is more secure than ever. I took some extra steps to make sure that this won't happen again. And I'm just so happy. Alright. If there's one thing I'm, I have to be thankful for, it's for you guys, for my supporters. And it's thankful to have Fitzmore TV back. Because you guys know, anybody that knows me knows how much I love what I do. Alright? And I'm hope I'm trying to make upgrades, you know, improve our quality, improve our equipment. You know, you know, we're using a new camera now, so hopefully you guys like that. Alright, and it's only gonna get better from here. Alright. So I'm gonna probably have another video in the next couple days because this video's already been pretty long. I've been talking for a long time now. And anybody that knows me knows I can go for a long time. So I'm probably gonna have a another video in the next couple days with a channel update because I have planned for a new schedule you know it's gonna be a mix of you know wrestling um, NBA anime content and especially with the new year the new decade about to start I have a lot of ideas a lot planned so definitely I can't wait to talk to you guys about that in the next couple days but as always all that matters fits when TV is back yours truly is back Back. I want to thank you guys for all the love and support. As always, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, enable notifications by kicking the bell right next to my name, Fitzman TV, so you guys are notified 
every time I post a new video. It's been a long time since I got to say that. Thank you guys once again. Have a great day, guys. Peace.